Hey, what's up guys? Dino here, Red River Fitness. Uh, today I want to talk about creatine, specifically creatine monohydrate, because it's the only form of creatine you need to worry about. Uh, so I brought some supplements here. I got creatine, micronized creatine by Top Secret, um, as well as I got my uh, Ronnie Coleman Myo Blitz. It's my pre-workout. Um, one is creatine monohydrate, the other is a pre-workout that has some creatine in it. A lot of supplements have uh, creatine in them. Uh, it's a pretty common filler. Um, creatine's been around since uh, pretty much uh, the late 1800s uh, when it was first found in muscle tissue. Uh, we've been using it in a sports supplements since about the 1950s, 1960s. Uh, there's plenty of research on it. It does work. Um, it's not a steroid. It's uh, essentially an amino acid. Um, it's made out of uh, glycine, methionine, and L-arginine. Um, these are amino acids, and our body makes uh, generally adequate supplies of creatine, so it's not essential. However, there are benefits to increasing the amount of creatine that you take in, both for um, <laughs> both for uh, some at-risk groups as well as for athletes, especially uh, type 2 muscle fiber dominant athletes like power athletes, as well as uh, bodybuilders, weightlifters, uh, powerlifters, and uh, other types of sprint style athletes. So, um, why would we take creatine monohydrate? Well, it is important for the uh, creatine phosphate system, which is uh, the high, high demand energy system. Uh, it's for maximal effort intensity um, exercise it generally lasts anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds and uh, if we can increase our, phos our creatine phosphate pool uh, through creatine supplementation we can um, essentially exercise at a maximal intensity for about uh, anywhere from uh, one to two seconds longer so this allows us to do just a couple more repetitions um, maybe one more repetition at max effort <laughs> over time which would give us uh, an increase in muscle hypertrophy on uh, generally a prolonged training protocol so uh, you're not going to see any any uh, increase in strength uh, immediately upon supplementation but uh, you will notice it uh, anywhere from uh, I would say 12 to 20 weeks in uh, you'll get much greater improvements in strength and muscle hypertrophy than had you not supplemented. Um, so basically uh, in the lab what uh, the general consensus is is uh, uh, researchers would supplement with 20 grams uh, for a week so 20 grams a day for a week and they found that uh, this would increase your pho uh, creatine phosphate pool by about 20 to 30 percent. Uh, once they stop supplementing, the uh, the creatine phosphate pool reduced back to normal uh, within a couple weeks. Um, by adding five grams per day after that initial loading phase, they were able to maintain those levels uh, indefinitely uh, without any negative side effects. So um, that's generally where we get the loading phase and then the uh, maintenance phase from. <laughs> Somebody's making a lot of noise. Um, so it's generally accepted to load for five to seven days, uh, usually three five gram servings a day, and then uh, maintenance phase of five grams a day after that. Uh, there are many calculations you can use, however, most of them will calculate to about five grams, give or take a day. Just remember, um, creatine monohydrate is only about 85 88% creatine. So that's where the five grams come from when they say you should actually only take about two grams of creatine by itself uh, per day in excess of the two grams we usually get from our diet. Um, so other side effects of creatine, you're going to get an increase in water retention and protein retention within the muscle cell. This is good. This is anabolic. This will increase muscle growth, strength, and size. Um, there are some negative side effects during the loading phase. Uh, that's why there's a lot of debate lately on whether or not you should load or not. Um, yeah, you don't get creatine. Um, so, 
uh, it's up to you, but uh, if you load, you'll get your stores up within a week. If you don't load, you can start with five grams a day, and within three to six weeks, you'll reach the same levels. So it really doesn't make a big difference if you're not an elite level athlete. So it's up to you. Um, like I said before, there's no benefit to any other types of creatine <coughs> because a lot of them give you the same effects, but they take others away, like muscle, uh, like the uh, increase in water retention. You want that. Um, there's no faster absorption than 100%. Um, so get creatine on hydrate. It's the cheapest. It's the best. Um, and then if you're getting it in your pre-workouts and stuff, you probably don't need um, a monohydrate if you're taking a pre-workout pre every day. Um, so other benefits, uh, it's been shown to help with uh, degenerative muscle disease, brain disease, um, uh, many other um, health-related issues. Uh, it also helps with vegetarians who have decreased brain function due to uh, a reduction in brain creatine. Uh, because their diets are generally uh, low in creatine as well as low in a lot of the essential amino acids so if you're a vegetarian or a vegan you need to be supplementing with creatine because um, it will help increase your brain power uh, your um, uh, memory retention and uh, uh, intel uh, overall intelligence so I get on that and then elderly people as well it does help with increase in muscle mass uh, retention of type 2 muscle fibers um, all these degenerative issues that come with aging, creatine can help uh, both in the skeletal muscle as well as in the brain tissue. So, uh, so like I said, uh, creatine monohydrates where it's at. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, <coughs> just uh, shout out to Kibo. This is where I get my uh, creatine from. Uh, shout out to Ronnie Coleman and the Myo Blitz for my pre-workout um, and my micronized creatine. So there you go. Any questions? Uh, just comment in the uh, comment section. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys. Uh, see you guys in the gym. Say bye.